Hi folks, Mark Donovan here from HomeEditionPlus.com and I wanted to show you what I had installed this fall here in my house in uh, central New Hampshire. It's a ductless mini heat system. You can see it right up above my head. And uh, that's the evaporator unit of it. Uh, we'll show you the compressor condenser unit on the outside in a minute. And why I had this installed was that we have long, cold winter months here in northern New England or central New Hampshire and really wanted to be able to utilize my garage during the, the, uh, these winter months and um, installing one of these um, ductless mini heat pump systems I'm able to now heat my garage during those long winters but even during the uh, summertime I also have the advantage of using this type of system um, as an air conditioning unit. So let me show you the, the key uh, components of this system and then we'll talk about some of the advantages of it. So on the outside of the house this is the condenser um, compressor unit and as you can see we have it mounted so it basically uh, attaches to the side of the uh, house it's not uh, sitting on the ground though you can get them um, assembled so they uh, stand on stands but I like it so that it attaches to the side of the house so that it's off the ground away from any snow that we get and other than that unit you've got this uh, duct work piece that goes up the side of the house and goes into a three inch hole that feeds the evaporator on the inside of the garage and that's it for duct work and basically what's going on in this pipe, uh, or this, this duct if you will, is a couple refrigerant tubes, um, a drain tube, and some electrical wiring um, between the condenser compressor unit and the evaporator on the inside. So let me show you the inside of the house. Here we have the evaporator portion of the mini split system. Um, again, that duct work that you saw going up the side of the house, in the back of the house, that flows from the condenser compressor unit up to this evaporator. Um, basically um, allows those tubes, the refrigerant, uh, the electrical wiring, and a drain um, pipe to basically connect the two units together. And this unit here is what really um, blows out the heat or the cooling depending how you're using the system. And the last component that makes up this ductless mini heat system um, is this controller. As you can see here, it's from Fujitsu. Um, the nice thing about this, um, you just hit the start and stop, I have it set for 76 degrees in here at the moment, and that's all we need to do to get the heat running. I've got it for high fan configuration. You can have it low, medium, or on auto. Um, there's an economy mode, um, but right now I've, I've set up for heat mode, and what will happen is the compressor and condenser on the outside will take a couple minutes to kind of warm up and get going, kind of at a very slow level, but within two to three, four minutes from now, um, the evaporator unit will turn on and we'll start getting uh, the blower and actually blowing out heat from here. Um, again, a couple other features of this uh, remote controller. You can set it on a timer. You can set it like in a seven day timer. Uh, you can set it for different temperatures throughout the day. Um, virtually anything you can think of from the perspective of um, a, a typical um, uh, thermostat control, digital thermostat control, you have all that capability in this handheld unit um, with this type of uh, heat system. To give you a few basic principles of how a heat pump works, um, what's going on is that the refrigerant on the outside with the compressor and the condenser is extracting heat or energy uh, from the outside air and transferring that heat um, over the refrigerant lines into the garage in this case onto the evaporator. The evaporator with the blower fan assembly in it is then taking that heat that's in the refrigerant and blowing it out into the space, in this case the garage. Uh, these types of systems, uh, this is a Fujitsu system, uh, 24,000 BTU, I'm heating about a 30 by 28 garage, uh, providing all the heat I need. Um, it can extract heat out of an outside air temperature down to 15 below Fahrenheit. So these are very um, energy efficient and very powerful, if you will, in functioning even at those very low outside temperatures. They're able to find that little bit of heat that's in those cold outside temperatures and basically pull it in and transfer that heat into the room. So that's the high level principles of how a heat pump works. Um, in the summertime, as I said, these can be used as air conditioners and it works just in reverse. Basically, it's the condenser compressor taking the heat out of the garage or the, the living space and transferring it out to the outside uh, air. So as that heat is pulled out of the um, room, you get that cooling effect. So that's another one great advantage of these units. That unit is doing heating and cooling um, functions. Another major advantage of these ductless mini split heat systems is they run on electricity. 
Uh, they don't require oil to be supplied to them or propane or any other type of energy source. Um, so it makes them very easy to install. Basically just have to wire a new circuit breaker into the panel um, to power one of these units. Um, and again, another major advantage of these systems, it's all about heat transfer. Instead of like a, a, a gas-fired furnace uh, that's running on propane or oil where they have to create heat, uh, one of these mini split heat pumps or it's all about transferring heat. In this case, transferring heat from the outside into the space that you care about. Um, or in wintertime or summertime, transferring heat from the inside to the outside. So one of the major advantages uh, of, of installing one of these systems is that there's not a lot of um, uh, work and plumbing, if you will, uh, between the units. All it is is electrical wire to the, to the system and then one uh, hole in the wall, about three inches, that connects the evaporator unit to the inside to the condenser compressor unit on the outside. Now why I chose uh, this ductless mini heat system, a uh, heat pump system, is just the fact that it's ductless. Um, unlike a traditional HVAC system where you have ductwork running through all out of house and so on and so forth, um, when you're looking to heat a particular room, in this case my garage, um, there's no point in having any ductwork. Uh, secondarily, ductwork systems have a lot of inefficiencies. Typically, use anywhere from two, you lose 25 to 30 percent of the heating capacity or, or cooling capacity through the ductwork in a duct-type system. So again, if you have spot heating or cooling required, such as I do here in my garage, a ductless system is the best way to go. It's cheaper not only from the installation because you have no ductwork to put in, but second of all, from an operation standpoint, um, you're not going to lose the inefficiencies associated with um, running a bunch of duct work um, into, let's say, this garage. Uh, so, yes, I could have gone and, and added more duct work and run it off my existing system, um, but the inefficiencies of that would have just made it um, not very um, economically efficient to do, not to mention the space and utilization of getting that duct work into the garage is going to be a difficult thing. Um, the other key advantage of this type of system is um, it's very cost effective from an installation and utility companies love these type of systems being installed. As a matter of fact, in my case, they offered me a thousand dollar rebate, they being the, the uh, electrical company, to, to have one of these installed. Um, so the total cost on this was about four thousand dollars installed, um, but in the end it only cost me about three thousand because of a thousand dollar rebate from the utility company. Another major advantage of these ductless mini heat um, pump systems are they're very quiet. quiet. Um, if you've seen in other um, garages, you often see something what they call like a hot dog heater that sits up in a corner of the garage. It's very low, loud, noisy, um, and kind of ugly looking. Um, that type of system is not very energy efficient. Uh, you've got plumbing lines going into it. And, and most importantly, in my case, it's very noisy. Um, right above my garage is my office, and I work um, all day in that office. And I did not want to hear a loud, rattling sound of, of, of one of these hot dog heater systems going. Um, and not to mention, I'd have to then get plumbing to it and so on and so forth. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the system behind me, but it's very, very quiet. And so it's quiet when I'm in the garage, and it's basically silent above um, the garage in my office here. So it's another major reason for going one of these systems. So that's it in a nutshell. I highly recommend these ductless uh, mini uh, heat pump systems. Um, they are just fantastic in terms of uh, uh, low profile. Um, they don't take up a lot of space. They function extremely well. They're very energy efficient. There's cost advantages in terms of uh, credits, if you will, from the utility companies in most places um, for the, to, to help subsidize the installation cost. Um, and they work fantastic both as a heat system and as a cooling system. Highly recommend it. Uh, again, this is a Fujitsu based system, uh, 24,000 BTU. They've got a number of different sizes, so you just basically need to talk to an HVAC person to see what's right for your space. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. And if you have other home improvement questions, make sure to visit um, homeeditionplus.com.